to the valley the old farm and today's job is to get three fields worth of straw windrowed and baled um this windrower puts it in the almost not worth it in my category uh ideally i would want it to be gathering three swaths to make it worth doing the windrowing i'm kind of at the two and a half a lot of the time especially once i get into the up down rows obviously i'm only doing two here but once i'm into the up down rows i'm into the sort of two and a half uh, so it's kind of borderline for me as to whether it was worth doing this because by the time you've driven around once to windrow and then once to bail if you're only gathering two swaths you're doing the same number of trips around the field yeah it's always been my kind of off or should i swath swath windrow windrow the swath before i um, bail it and i'm not really meeting that criteria here so i'd kind of just decided in my head that i was going to do that so that's what i'm doing um probably we should be looking at a bigger windrow actually no, in reality next time we should hire a bigger combine that would be the way more sensible option um yeah like a eight meter combine and then i wouldn't need to do this and combining would be quicker as well so we will do that next time instead yeah so yeah that's the job and the plan is um at least for this field which i'm going to do manually um to windrow and bale the headlands and collect those and then come back and windrow and bale the body of the field just to give me room to turn um i thought that was a sensible thing to do um and just a more interactive engaging i don't know just another way of doing it i guess um there we go this is more effective grabbing three swaths in one go um yeah that's that's kind of what i prefer when i'm doing this kind of thing it feels more useful i'm saving a little bit of time when i do it that way and diesel and all that kind of things so, yeah so it's it's sunday for me it'll be monday for you if you watch this on the day that it comes out if i get it finished in time it's a bank holiday weekend here in the uk which means the days all get a little bit weird um yeah, I'm uh, doing a bit better than I was this time last week. Um, I have combined the oats already. I did that off camera because there's a lot of combine going on in the videos at the moment. We've got 9,500 litres of oats. That's going to be a lot of horse feeding. I'll probably end up selling some of those or keeping them to mill for the cows. Probably sell, I suspect. Um, get a bit of cash coming in from something other than selling silage so i think we're over here to grab the baler that would be it um and we might as well run through here and uh drop down superhero landing really bad for the knees um, name the movie and uh let's go grab the baler yeah doing a bit better than i was this time last week um not been to the doctors yet that is tuesday um but yeah not feeling quite so down it'd be good to talk a bit more about stuff so yeah anyway i'm not gonna dwell on all of that stuff we are gonna do farming stuff instead um, yeah so the money's gone up a little bit as well not in a mr cdp style i've done a bunch of contracts but in a i just switched on the selling of the electricity and methane at the bga um, and we made some cash and it is indeed methane um, that is in reference to a comment i had on a on the video about the modular bga where i was told by one of our american friends that i was obnoxiously annoying calling it methane because it is methane well my friend mr big country that's with a c and no o um it is methane where i come from because could you imagine that in different parts of the world that speak a similar language words are pronounced differently 
like aluminium and aluminum and tomato. Yeah, all sorts of different words can be pronounced differently. And it's not, well, it is incorrect, but the incorrectness is probably not from my side of the ocean. Um, so if you find it obnoxiously annoying, just turn the video off because, well, may, maybe you had to sit and watch it because you needed the information that was in there. In which case, shut the fuck up. Thank you. Um, and now I'm not angry, bro. Your content, bro. If you're even watching. You actually turned into a rather amusing thing in my mind. So, yeah. Anyway. It did got me. It got me on a whole distraction. Actually, um, I was uh, I was listening to another YouTube video, which was by an American um, who was saying words wrong. He was saying agoraphobic instead of agoraphobic, um, among other things. Um, and I did not find it obnoxiously annoying. He was just pronouncing the word, I guess, as he's been taught to pronounce it where he lives. Um, and he doesn't realise that it's wrong or feel that it's wrong um, and I didn't have to jump in the comment section and correct him even though he's wrong in my opinion um, but yeah it's this whole thing that um, even regionally in I suspect every country that speaks the same language words are pronounced slightly differently I know where I live People say bus differently, and people say book differently. The number of ways a small baked piece of bread dough can be said. I mean, I would call it a roll. Um, but I suspect there are a whole bunch of you that live north of the M25, which are now currently angrily typing that it's a balm or a God knows what. Yeah. So, language is an interesting thing. Um, I think I know how to speak the language I grew up speaking and pronounce the words that I grew up learning to speak. Um, there was another interesting one where a, as one we've spoken about on the Terror Life streams, where a clearly non-native English speaker told us to stop using Google Translate to translate things for Terror Life when actually we use me, an English speaker, to translate things into English. Um, which is kind of now a reoccurring joke. Because that's kind of how my brain works, that once someone does something that sticks in my brain, I, I will just keep reusing it. Like the fact that I'm playing a video game, having been told that no, this is a simulation because it's farming simulator. It's really not a simulation. Um, there is so much that makes this game not a simulation. Um, if this were a simulation, almost everything that we play would be on arcade mode. Um, even if you think you have it on super realism with all of the realism mods, it's still on arcade mode. Um, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, language, language is an interesting one, and uh, I get to experience some of the highlights of it doing this, I guess, or lowlights, depending on how you look at it. Um, I've seen it on other people's comments as well, um, people correcting people on how to say words, and, you know... In, you know, let alone regional variations in dialect, international variations in dialect for the same language are huge. Um, so maybe before you correct people on how they say a word, think whether maybe that difference is just because you're from a different part of the world. So let alone a different region. Um, anyway, course play time. Um, so yeah, we're going to use cosplay for this field. Um, but while cosplay windrows, 
this field, I'm going to bail the field, finish bailing the field that we've just been in. Hopefully this will kind of work out timing wise. We'll see. Um, there's going to be a good old bit of universal auto load as well. Um, I think the Bailey trader could do with a bit of an adjustment. Uh, so I'm using it with the standard as supplied in the universal auto load mod hub add on um, loading area. And those are always a little bit, I um, can't think of the right word. Cautious, maybe, is the right word. Um, or cautious, is that how I say it? Um, can't, that's, the, that's the word I'm going to use. So, so they, they, they always go a bit under on the maximum measurement. So I think I could make the loading area a bit longer um, and probably a bit taller and still be okay. So, yeah. That's kind of, I'm, I might make a tweak on that. Um, just squeeze a few more bales on. It's not a massive problem because the farm's not huge and we're not having to drive that far. I'm always one for saving on my journey time on these kind of things. Um, yeah. You know, I, uh, if I can get another layer of bales and another stack of you know, two by three on the back. That's probably an entire trip less around the field. So, well, not around the field, back to the barn, which is all going to be good. You know, less diesel, that's good for the Greta will love that, won't she? It's not even diesel, it's electric with this one, although we're using a diesel tractor for the other one. So, yes, yeah, less diesel, so Greta will be happy. Um, a little bit of in cab. Been a while since I've done that. Uh, I'm I'm not going to admit that it was another accidentally pressing the C key at all, um, which 99.9% .9 of the time it is. Um, the C key is very close to all of the other keys that I use, and so sometimes, most of the time, it's that, and I just end up going with it. Mm. But for this job, it was fine. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, there's very few jobs that I find are, for me, playing the way that I play are better in cab. There are a few loader jobs that, that are good in cab. Um, but yeah, most jobs I find are better for how I like to play in the third person view. Uh, and I think generally they give you guys a better view as well. Uh, once we've got this done I think that's going to be July done in game so I'm hoping that in August it might actually be September hoping that in August the maize will be ready to chop we'll see um, if it's not um, we've not got anything else to do in August we might head back over to the forestry plot get some forestry done it's been a little while uh, work on clearing that some more um, I would like to put a uh, another pig pen in there um, I think one probably on here one of the games that I will play for making the pigs more profitable is we will uh, just trying to think actually um, um if I run in hot animal system, I can't do that because they'll die. Mm -hmm. What we might do is get a pig placeable where we can get, where we can use free water so that we can reduce the cost um, of raising the piglets. And could I actually make it so that we do, um, I'd have to put triggers in and stuff. I was thinking maybe I could adjust the pen that's there so we do the watering ourselves. Um, I might actually do that. I might do that. Um, so what I'm thinking is maybe putting a trigger outside and adding a visual of a water tank and have, giving it a water capacity, we have to take water there, but rather than just have taking it to the trough and giving it a reasonable water capacity. 
curious on your thoughts on that, folks. Um, but that might be an interesting way of increasing the profitability of the pigs. And yeah, I think I think that was it is a good option. Um, if if for the um, for the, the for the the maize plus pig farmer, I think it would have been a really a more profitable option maybe to use um, something where we could deliver water and I was getting free you know getting water from somewhere where it was free whether it's a free water source or whatever. Uh, but we're not, so that's that's part of the cost. Um, yeah, but on here, I do wonder whether we should do that. Just increase the profitability a bit. We'll see, we'll see. Partly interesting because it'd be a fun job editing the XML. And adding in the graphical bit. And it's been a while since I've done something like that. So, yeah. I'm just trying to get it so that I grab three swaths here. To meet my criteria of being worth doing. Uh, don't think I was getting it on the all of the up-down rows. But on some I was. And... Certainly on the headlands where I wasn't using GPS, so I wasn't getting a f maximum benefit, then I definitely was able to a few times. Yeah. And I really do not like this tractor anymore. Um, definitely a goal soon is to replace this thing. Um, actually, once we hit August, the other thing we'll be doing is adding Maze Plus, so things will be getting more complex. So we might have a a period of adjustment to that as well. Um, I will need to adjust the feeding of the pigs. Uh, I'm going to adjust the feeding of the pigs and the chickens. I don't want the chickens to get super complex. Um, and the pigs, basically, I'm going to make it so that the pig food that's produced by our production, when we actually get to use it, is a complete pig food, so that we can just, you know, do those relatively easily. Um, and I haven't seen the pig farm in a little while. I keep checking it. They're not eating that much at the moment, which feels really weird. But it's because we don't have Maze Plus installed, I guess. And we don't have that many pigs. And they haven't had piglets yet. So. Um, but yeah, next month we will be adding Maze Plus and Enhanced Animal System in. So that's going to up the challenge. Um, but also our pop profitability because we're seeing on like 19,000 litres of milk at the moment but that number's going to start going up an awful lot I believe because we've got a reasonable size herd of cows so yeah as you can be interested because we can grow alfalfa and clover and stuff I think we probably need to get a few more fields because I'd like to try and do Assuming it works, I'd like to try and do some like alfalfa silage and things like that. Um, I've not tested it to know that it works. Um, but assuming the crops are correctly implemented in the map, it should. Um, I'm just thinking, can I have a quick look while I'm talking to you guys? Because it's basically down to whether the map has the correct fill type names, I believe. So... Let's just very quickly try and find in here. Um, just scrolling through the fruit types. Uh, and for some reason, why don't I see them in here? There we go. So it is called alfalfa. So, oh, yep, so we should be good, actually. Um, so, yeah, not sure if we have clover, but we definitely have alfalfa. So, yeah, I think we should give that a go. Because um, I think Maze Plus adds the, the, the silages, if 
alpha alpha is implemented correctly in the map now so i'd like to give that a go i've only got the two small plots at the moment so i can probably try and pick up another field near the farm and plant alpha in that well maybe actually plant alpha alpha in this field yeah, that would work yeah just just kind of thinking thinking through things as we uh, as we work towards that transition because um, that would be quite cool to be able to use that in the feeding obviously we've got a bunch of hay already so yeah it's going to give us many many more options which is kind of why I wanted to add it to this map because it's the first map that I've played on in 22 where this has been an option obviously that's all going to change with Terra Life because there will be infinite options but I'm probably going to keep some of the non Terra Life stuff going because I do more than one series and so yeah Anywho, a couple of swaths left to go, and then we'll get these bales picked up, get them in the shed, and uh, that will be it for July on here. That'll be the end of our first year, I guess. Second year? First year? First year, I think. Uh, um, let me say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channels. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. You are all awesome. Um, if you're interested in any of those, there are links for page for Patreon. There is a link below for joining the YouTube channel. There's a button below. Um, and yeah, I get. I haven't done a schedule for this week because I'm not sure what this week looks like yet, to be honest. And uh, things didn't pan out last week completely how I planned, so I'm not going to do one this week. Um, We'll keep things a little bit fluid with uh, with the holiday weekend and uh, other bits and pieces. I'm just going to see how we go. Um, so I was just looking quickly at field state. It looks like we need to lime all of the fields that I've harvested. Um, so we'll get that. We might get that done actually next time. And we need to look at our planting as well. Um, to think about what crops we want to get in the ground for next year. Anything we need to get planted early. I wonder if there's anything we could plant in July. Hmm. I don't think there is, other than grass. So, don't think there is. But yeah, we need to have a think about crops for next year. I don't think I'm running the crop rotation mod on here. don't think we'll add that in either. So I'm not adding precision farming onto here. We'll keep things a little bit simpler, I guess. Um, which will be nice for the old brain with Terra Life coming to have a safe, which is a tad simpler. Even if we are adding Maze Plus. So, right, let's go grab these bales. Not too many of them to pick up. Um, but yeah, for some reason I made 180 centimetre straw bales this time. It doesn't really matter, it might be useful if we decide to put some in the feed having some smaller straw bales. Um, yeah, and actually I guess if I'd made slightly bigger straw bales they would have filled the trailer better potentially. Um, with me saying about making the load area bigger so maybe it doesn't need to be bigger but it could certainly be taller because it would be nice to get a third row on here you can only get two rows mm -hmm. yeah conservative is the word I was thinking of I think I'm not sure if that's the word I used 20 minutes ago but anyway if you can hear that that's the ice cream van yeah so we'll drop these off and that'll be it so Thanks for watching guys, hope you have enjoyed the video, if you did click the like button, uh, comments, questions, suggestions below, let's have a quick look at how many bales we got, so 
I think 51, I think it will have been the 7,000 liter straw bales. Yep, yeah, but not entirely sure. Anyway, see you next time.